Hi all and welcome back to the channel. As you may have guessed, today we are doing the 25 Essential Expressions Challenge. Before starting this challenge, I decided to create a character based off of the one and only Moa. We will call her Rochelle because she is the alter ego of Rachel. The pencil I'll be using throughout the course of this challenge is the Blackwing Natural. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Our very first expression is happy, which thank goodness it was happy as I feel like this is a nice, easy segue into beginning this art challenge. Especially since this was the first time that I was redrawing my character that I designed, so I wanted to make sure that her expression and, you know, not only the happy, but her facial features were how I wanted them because I feared that if I didn't have her right and happy, that the other 24 expressions would be a challenge. And I also, you know, wanted her to look consistent throughout. I didn't want it to look like I had drawn 25 different people. Once I had her light sketch down, I went back in with my pencil and was trying to darken things up just because I felt like it was really hard to tell on camera what her facial expression was, where her hat ended and where her hair began. And even though I struggled with how light the pencil marks were showing up on camera, I decided to go ahead and start on sad. Now what you can't see is that I actually have a mirror facing me off to the left hand side of my camera. And so I am sitting here making these facial expressions so that hopefully I can capture them correctly for my character. And for sadness, I felt like I had to keep redrawing those eyes. I didn't feel like I was getting them quite small enough. And so over and over until I felt like I had them right. And it was at this point that I decided that while the pencil is great for sketching in my rough idea, I really need some illustration pens to darken up these lines so you can see on camera what expression I'm going for and so that the whole purpose of this exercise isn't lost. And here I am going in with that 03 illustration pen and really darkening up those lines. And I'm so glad I did. My character looks so much better. And then I went in with an 01 and added in just a little bit of shading to the back of the hair just to kind of set it apart from the hoodie. Now that that issue has been resolved, I am back to working on sad and I feel like I really got her eyes and mouth right and she just looks distraught. And on to pleased. And honestly, I struggled with this one. It's part of why this video is not in real time because you would just see me tapping my pencil on the table as I was trying out different facial expressions in my mirror. I feel like part of my dilemma with pleased is knowing that I was going to have to draw confident later on and I didn't want them to look exactly the same. I eventually went with a look that I feel like had, you know, the eyes bright, the smile that was there, but not quite, you know, as large as the happy where you could like, you know, see my molars and <laughs> really be able to see just how joyous I was by, you know, being pleased. So just that relaxed happiness. On to our fourth drawing, angry. And for this one, as well as I guess a lot of the other ones, the key to having that full on angry look is the eyebrows. I feel like the eyebrows are the key to each of these expressions. And if you have some solid eyebrows and the right mouth to go with your facial expression, then you're golden. And to take my angry further, I contemplated having two uh, spouts of steam coming out of my mouth, similar to like a bowl, and ended up deciding against it. I felt like that was maybe a little too extreme for, you know, just being angry and that uh, I didn't need to go quite to that level. Although I did end up adding back in one of the little spouts of steam because I felt like it was necessary for that deep sigh when you're truly angry. Confused, I actually ended up playing around with a lot because between the eyebrows and the mouth, I just wasn't quite sure how to get the look across. I had contemplated adding a finger to the bottom lip, but 
felt like that looked really weird, so I removed it. I had also tried different eyebrow positions. For me, when I feel like I look confused, my left eyebrow ends up being a little bit higher than my right eyebrow, but I just couldn't get it to come across right. So <laughs> this is how my confused ended up looking. And I'm not super thrilled with it, but I feel like the little question marks, you know, get the point across. And we are officially done with row one. Now, I wish that it had really only taken me five minutes to do that, but <laughs> luckily a little movie magic made it go faster for you guys. Now, tired was one of the facial expressions I did not have to uh, attempt to figure out. I feel like that is how my face looks most of the time between work and school and having two kids. Tired, I feel like, is my resting face with her very relaxed eyes, relaxed mouth. I feel like she ends up actually looking a little bit more exhausted than just merely tired, but I feel like either way, with the addition of the little Zs, you get the point that she is tired and ready for bed. And now on to shocked. And for this one, I actually kept her facial features in view, similar to that of Happy, including the size of her eyes, and then I just made sure that her irises were teeny tiny and that her mouth was very relaxed with shocked eyebrows. And I am so happy with how this ended up turning out. I feel like she looks truly shocked by what she's just seen or heard. For irritated, I ended up adding a hand into the image and was in between having the hand either just pressing on her temple or pinching the bridge of her nose. I didn't end up going with the bridge of the nose because I was afraid that it would cover up too much the face, but I find that when I am very irritated, right on the verge of a migraine, that I end up pressing my temple or massaging my temple to just try and get through it. And keeping with the hand theme for WTF, I thought, why not add in some hands because when I have that feeling, I feel like I'm throwing my hands up, like, what the heck are you thinking? You've got to be kidding me. So having two hands in my image just felt like it was necessary. For Rochelle's face, I felt like having a combination of both irritated and angry would exude that correct emotion. As I was drawing her face, I was worried that my eyebrows might be a little bit too strong for this facial expression, but after adding in the liner, I feel like it really works. To me, it's that perfect combination of angry and irritated in combination with these hand gestures, which I have been known to make, that really complete this ninth expression. And on to our tenth drawing. For this one, I actually almost added in another hand. I had contemplated having, you know, two hands above her head, just pure joy of having that victory. Uh, but these squares are only an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And I worried that by having her hands above her head, her face would have ended up being like the size of a dime. <laughs> and I didn't know that that was really gonna mix well with the other 25 expressions by having, you know, full on body. So focused more on just having a very joyful look and more of an out open mouth smile, which I am typical to make. And yeah, I, I like the way she looks. I mean, she's a little in your face. That is definitely a drawing that's closer up, but I feel like that also fits with the expression. For fear, I decided to have her looking back over her shoulder. I wanted her eyes to be real wide, like what you see in Shocked, but instead of having the teeny tiny irises, I had those larger, so she is seeing all of what is going on. And then I really struggled with the mouth. I don't know if it's the angle that I was drawing it, but I redrew the mouth. I don't even remember how many times. There were quite a few. After completing the outline, I 
like the way she looked in general. I felt like the facial expression was perfect, but because of the positioning that I had her, I wanted to make some adjustments. So ended up going back in with one of the Prismacolor markers and fully coloring in the background. And honestly, I felt like that's what really made the fear pop. For bereft, I actually ended up looking that up just because I wanted to make sure that I did have the expression correct. And it is when somebody is sad and lonely. So I thought by adding in another hand and having her head just resting on that palm, looking off almost as if she were zoning out deep in thought uh, would be a great way to be able to capture this expression. I also wanted her expression to be pretty relaxed, um, you know, not quite as sad as our sad expression above, but still like, you know, she's processing something. And the switch from going from bereft to flirty was definitely an interesting one. It was kind of funky to get my head out of that mindset. For flirty, I decided to add in another hand, and this time that one is holding a lollipop, and she is just kind of gazing at the metaphorical camera and uh, doing that over the shoulder kind of look of like, oh, hey, and uh, I love the raised eyebrow. Uh, this is something that I do. I well, actually, I can only raise my left eyebrow. I, I can't raise my right. I don't know why, but I digress. I think the finished expression shows a true flirty look. And on to serious. When I saw this expression on the list, my mind instantly went to like the arms crossed position. So I knew I wanted to incorporate that some way into the expression but I had also kind of wondered if using hands or more of the body is kind of like a way of cheating because it's not really the facial expression that's portraying the actual emotion, it's the body language. So is it cheating by showing the hands and the arms? Should I have only drawn their faces? Other than happy, silly was probably the easiest one to figure out what I wanted to do, although I realized almost immediately that I drew her face way too big, so ended up redrawing it just a little bit smaller. But I took inspiration for this from my kids. They love making funny faces, so I thought what better way to have a silly look than to have her eyes crossed and her tongue sticking out. Although I will say that the tongue sticking out part was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I was worried about how it looked without color just because it's just, yeah, there. And as I finish up the final details, we are officially completing our 15th drawing, which only leaves 10 more of these expressions to go. And on to hollow. This one I wasn't really sure how to show. I looked for inspiration through Pinterest and then honestly ended up using my tired expression to create this hollow expression. So I feel like Rochelle looks almost exactly the same in tired as she does in hollow. Just her eyes are a little bit bigger and her mouth isn't quite as open as what it is for tired. And on to Incredulous. This is another one that I actually ended up looking up just because I was worried that I would have it wrong. And upon looking it up, I realized I was correct. It is to be skeptical or, you know, unbelieving and doubtful. So I feel like it ends up being a combination of the above expressions. You have a little bit that is confused and a little bit that might be a little bit irritated or angry just from a like uh, unbelieving standpoint. So I had her head tilting to the side with her chin kind of downcast. I did end up realizing after doing my illustration pen that the eyebrows are a little intense, but I mean, it still goes with the look. Confident is another one of the expressions that I immediately thought 
of a hand or body gesture that would display that. When I saw it on the list, my first thought was to have the character steepling, which is where you place essentially your fingertips of both hands together while spreading them. And it is like the ultimate show of being confident. But then I worried that similar to Sirius, by doing just hands, I would be cheating since this is supposed to be an expressions challenge, not a body language challenge. So instead, I ended up drawing her forward facing with a bit of a smirk, kind of like she knows something that you don't. For Fierce, I created what I'm going to call a can I help you look. A look that's just a little bit irritated, a bit angry, and a bit, well, maybe a little bit incredulous. I feel like her look is intense for sure. And maybe a smidge aggressive but isn't that what fierce is it's just having that you know strong maybe a little bit forceful nature and it could be positive too she could be a fierce competitor and just really know her stuff for pouty i got my inspiration from my son wade he just turned three, and honestly, I think he has had the pouty look perfected since about one. While looking in my mirror, using my face for a reference for this drawing, I could not stop laughing. Like, had to stop drawing multiple times because, I don't know if it's because I have bigger lips, but the pouty look just is not my look. <laughs> And then to look down at my paper and realize that my sketch looks like a combination of a chipmunk with food in her cheeks and a ventriloquist doll because that chin does not look like it is connected to the rest of the head. And I can't believe it, we are down to the last five drawings. For Drunk, I decided to have her head tilted back, just kind of in that like relaxed, maybe mid-laugh or uh, post-laugh sigh with those slightly tired eyes and just a real relaxed smile. This pose honestly reminds me of stepping out of the bar late at night and you realize just how much warmer the inside of the bar was than it is outside. So it's the like breath of fresh air. For Rage, I wanted the downcast look where she is looking up from underneath just some really angry eyebrows and felt like having her mouth gaping open would also kind of fit the like just pure aggression that Rage has. I did end up having to draw the mouth a few different times just because I felt like I wasn't getting the shape just quite right, at least not in comparison to what I was seeing in the mirror. And after going back in with my liner, I realized I did get a little heavy handed with those eyebrows. While they definitely portray rage, I don't know that they necessarily really stick with my character. Kind of like the incredulous, they're pretty intense. And on to sarcastic. If you know me personally, you know that sarcasm is one of my favorite languages. However, determining how to portray this in a facial expression, I wasn't really sure on. I tried doing a little Pinterest uh, research and didn't really find anything that I felt really fit me. So instead, I ended up doing a gazing off to the side, head resting on her fist in a, oh, do please tell me more. And now on to our second to last drawing. And I will say that having disgusted right next to sick was a great idea. I feel like that allows you to really work those two boxes off of one another. So for disgusted, I ended up having her facing away from nauseous, but looking back over her shoulder like, gross, you've got to be kidding me. I feel kind of like disgusted can also have a hint of confusion, like, why am I being part of this? Why am I witnessing this? 
And after adding the liner, I have to say that this ended up being one of my favorite faces. And drum roll, please. Brrr. We are on to the last drawing. Nauseous. For this expression, I had to incorporate a hand. I felt like that was the perfect way to show nauseous, is having her hand covering her mouth and her cheeks just chipmunk full of being nauseous. And looking at them as they're finished, disgusted and illness or nauseous kind of end up looking the same. The eyes are the same. The eyebrows are the same. It's really just the bottom half of the facial features that portray that other emotion. And we are officially done with the 25 essential expressions challenge. Now, I did actually end up deciding to go back in with one of my Ahuhu markers and just darkening up the background just so that the characters would really pop for each of our different expressions. And here is the finished sheet. And I have to say that this challenge was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I have never really drawn characters. I'm only new to this. And so trying to keep your character's facial expressions, eyes, eyebrows the same throughout uh, was a lot harder than originally anticipated. I would say for the most part, my character looks pretty similar throughout all of them. I'm not happy with how confused ended up turning out, and I also feel like irritated could have been done a lot better, and honestly, triumph wasn't a like big winner for me either, but all in all, this was great. Like I actually want to do this again. I think this is a great challenge to be able to draw that many expressions on the same person. Now, whether or not it's considered cheating that I used the hand or some of the body for these expressions is left up for debate. Either way, thank you so much for drawing with me or just joining me on this drawing challenge. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and see you again soon.